Hello and welcome to another episode of Metal Detecting with Lugnut. This is going to be a couple episodes, or not a couple episodes, but two different sessions at two different houses. Just finding some stuff. This house behind me, the owner says, has been hunted a couple times and that proved to be the truth. But um, we had a nice time talking and uh, I did find a couple things. And then we'll visit the next door house at home, the 1861 house. Find a couple things there too. We'll show you all that. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll see you at the first target. This was a really crappy signal. I'm up in the front yard of the 1861 house. So this is a, an area where I just dig anything that repeats that's decent. Um, again, a crappy signal, but you know, look right here. There's a coin poking up or a button. I haven't touched it yet. Now with a crappy signal like that, it could either be a wheat or an Indian. So let's uh, let's take a look at this. It's wheat. Yep. There's Abraham Lincoln right there. Let me clean this off. See if I can get a better date on this. Be right back. Well, that one's going to take a little more than a field cleaning to get a date off of that. But there's another wheat penny out of this yard. Let's see if there's anything else. Well, I'm down in this hole. Look at this. Still got dirt on it. Marbles give off terrible signal. One nice red marble. I'm still not sure what the signal is. I'll keep looking. Well, the terrible signal was this um, shotgun head stamp, which is understandable. Okay, next target. Like all the signals up here, chasing around another iffy one. Finally found it. It's an overall button. It says Big Mac. Big Mac overalls. I'll have to look that up. Next target. Now there's something you don't find unless you're looking at crappy low nickel signals. This was uh, 50, 48, 47. Look at how tiny that is. Little four hole underwear button, something like that. That's tiny. Next target. Got a target here. Low 40s. There's not a lot going on here, so it's good strong signal, so I thought I'd go ahead and dig it. That's it's in this clump, but look at this other side. Cabamo. I don't know if this is junk. Let's pop the back of this. See if this is a button or something. Oh, this is an earring. Wow. See that clip? Let me clean this off, see if it has any marks. That uh, looks <laughs> looks pretty promising, but I'm not gonna not gonna make any bets. Well, there it is, all cleaned up, mm -hmm. and it works. I mean, it all works. It's as other than being bent, it's as shiny as the day it was made. The jeweler with the right eyepiece might even be able to straighten it out, but. Yeah, well, there's, I don't see any marks on it, yeah. so it's probably costume, but, for, much so but for four inches down, that's, uh, that's pretty, pretty shiny. All right, next target. 
Well, here's a mason jar lid, so I must be uh, near the garbage pile because I am in the back of the house. Unbroken. That's a really dark white milk glass ball. I'll take that. There's the back of the house. I'm here at the base of this tree. And here's a copper penny, but it's only a memorial. But at least it's copper. So, next target. Well, I got home and took a little look at that piece of jewelry. A much closer look. Finished cleaning it. I didn't find any marks on it. And I started thinking about it. It was three or four inches underground. The owner told me that he had not messed with the ground in that area at all, and he's owned the place since 1973. I showed it to my mother, and she says that that type of clasp was 40s or 50s, and the mechanism works absolutely perfectly. And inspecting the condition of the earring, there's some damage from dents and bends, but there's no presence of secondary metal being seen under the surface. Even in the area where it's scratched, and there's one area in one of the, the worst dents where it's actually torn, and again, no secondary metals. There's no chips, there's no peeling, there's no worn patches. It's perfect. The clasp is amazing, and I have some notes here. I've found plenty of costume jewelry over the years, and this piece is absolutely immaculate. Uh, most jewelry comes out of the ground looking like dog meat. So I think this is a piece of gold. And so to confirm that, I have ordered a gold testing kit, and hopefully that will re uh, appear tomorrow or today. And then we're going to do a gold testing. So the gold testing is going to follow this clip. Welcome to the Lugnut Laboratories. I've made the three scratches from the earring onto the plate. I have the 10 carat, the 14 carat, and the 18 carat testing liquids. Let's see what happens. I think that's dissolving. It's hard to tell with this lighting. It's still there. They're all still there. Does that mean it's not gold? Well, if, I don't, uh, can't be 24 carat or 22 carat. I've made a fourth scratch to test with the 22 carat
Oh my gosh, it disappeared. Wow. That's 24 karat gold. 22 karat gold. Holy moly. Wow, that's an earring, all right. Man, oh man. 22 karat gold. Here, let's see if you can see it. See? The one at the bottom is gone. That's the 22. The others are still there. Man. That's an earring, all right. Well, that's the test. 20... 22 karat gold earring. Eureka. Welcome to the roundup for these two hunts. The hunt next door and the hunt at the house on the other side of the village. We start with just the good things from next door. Still finding coins. And it's funny, this is uh, a 1945, turned out to be, which is the first coin I ever found over there, which is actually the first, same date, first coin that I ever found. A little tiny, I guess, underwear button. So that's, I mean, just the fact that I've been hunting in that yard for five years, still finding things, just digging those questionable targets. So then we'll go to the hunt across town. We got some junk, whatever the heck that is. Clip, a broken mason jar. Two good mason jars. And that's about five good porcelains in the past two weeks. So that's gotta be some kind of record for me. Modern dime, little aluminum thing. The button from the overall, it says Lee. That was a good target. And then the piece de resistance. The gold earring. And there's going to be something in, uh, you've probably already seen the assessment of that item. All right, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. And come back next week when we once again go looking for what's under the grass.